Hello everyone, John Fennell here again from Great Lakes Fly Shop and today we're going to be doing a pretty simple fly and it's an egg pattern. Uh, people come in the shop and they say, John, how do you tie an egg pattern? And I know there's a lot of videos on how to do it, so I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick how to do a simple egg pattern, okay? I'm going to show you some of the materials, so I'm going to move the camera around. Uh, the big thing to keep in mind is that what I like to do is I like to get all of my eggs, uh, the material all set up prior to actually doing the actual fly. So I cut them in one inch strips. Okay, you can see that. And then I put a little red dot, which is flame. And in this case, I'm tying with steelhead orange. Okay, it's a pretty popular color. But you get the idea, all right? So lay out all your your material for the for the egg pattern prior to actually putting it on the hook and then I have my pile of hooks okay the big thing that you want to have to keep a focus on is a the thread has to be pretty strong and the scissors have to be incredibly sharp because acrylic yarn does put a little you know dullness on your scissors after you use it for a while and I like to use uh, the bug shop uh, glow bug yarn. I've been using it for many many years. I love it. Uh, it's great stuff. It's really heavy duty. Uh, so anyway, the bug shop, if you go anywhere, glow bug yarn, it's good stuff. Okay. Any questions, comments, just get a hold of me at greatlakesflyshop.com uh, or go on greatlakesflies.com or call me at 218-740-3040 and uh, if you got any questions, just shoot me a line, let me know. Okay, here we go, guys. I know it's a quick video, but uh, it's a pretty simple fly, so I'm gonna get up real close here, as close as I can possibly get it. Okay, first off, what you wanna do, grab your hook, and I'm using size eight Gami C14S. I like that hook, it's pretty strong. Uh, it doesn't bend so easy like some other egg hooks. Uh, and then I use, again, I use 210 denier nylon uh, Danville thread. And I kind of like to match the color. You, you don't have to. Chartreuse, orange. Some people even use black. It's totally up to you. First, what I do is I put the thread on, but I don't do the whole shank of the hook. I just put it right toward the tip or the eye. I grab the two pieces of yarn with the red dot in the middle, okay? Make sure you keep the red dot on top. And then you lay it on top of the hook shank. I know it's kind of hard to see this. Again, if you got any questions, get a hold of me. I lay it on the top. I do one, two, three turns around the whole shank and the yarn. Then I pull all the material up. Right? And then I go around the material once twice, three times, and then secure it. I don't use any head cement. Good gosh, guys, if you try to put head cement on all the egg patterns you tie, you're gonna go nuts. I just use simple, hard wraparound thread, to secure it, and done, okay? And then what I do is I take all the material and I pull it up, okay, I pull it all up, and I cut in a half moon shape. So I start at the eye and I go down toward the shank. And I trim it up a little bit. If it's a little bit too fuzzy or there's some material got loose. And that's it. That's a simple egg pattern, okay? Try to tie them to match the size of your pinky nail. That's generally what I always recommend to people, and you'll do fine, okay? Um, yeah, you can tie them different shapes and sizes, but generally I try to keep them about that size, and uh, you'll catch a bunch of fish. All right, guys, good talking to you again. John Fennell here at Great Lakes Fly Shop. Get a hold of me at 218-740-3040 or Great Lakes Flies, that's F-L-Y-S dot com. See you then, guys.